My name is Bonafenja Mukwana Mutali. Welcome to ICT class. Today we are going to look at computer system and computer hardware. And when we talk of computer system and computer hardware, we have to define what a computer <coughs> is. A computer is defined as any electronic device that captures data, that can process data, and also that can store data and give us output in the form of information. When we talk of data, data, we mean the information that has not been processed, the facts that have not been processed, we call it data. And when it has been processed, it's when we call information. Information is proce processed data. But uh, the data that has not been processed is simply called data. Uh, we will also look at the output. When we talk of output, the results after processing, what we get? What we get is information. Uh, we will also try to find out how this information is captured in a computer. And also the device that captures this information. And when we talk of uh, that a computer is an electronic device, it means any device that uses electricity uh, is called an electronic device because it uses electricity. So when I can uh, draw a block diagram here, uh, <coughs> we have a raw data. Raw data means data that has not been processed. Thereafter, if it, if it is put in a computer, if we come to input, the devices that we use to, to enter data in a computer are such uh, devices as uh, mouse, mouse, uh, keyboard, mouse, keyboard, keyboard, joystick, 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 microphone. And even a camera. You use even a camera to input data into a computer. About the history of, of a computer, because this is just an introduction, we will not go into it right now, but we will look at it later. Uh, application of a computer. Uh, but before that, before we come to the application, after the input, after the input, we have the the the, the main the main computer where we have the CPU, central processing unit, and L, L arithmetic logic unit. And also, CU. CU means what? Hey, you'll have to find out. And then after it has been processed, if it is calculation, arithmetic logic unit, we'll have to calculate. And then, what we receive here is output output 
we will get the output. Now the output will form, will now form the processed information. Processed information. After the output, is now what we get is process, processed, processed information. It's processed information. In other words, a computer, as I said, is an electronic device. Mm -hmm. And an electronic device means it uses electricity to process its information, to process the raw data. And that raw data is what is called information. So before it has been processed, the data remains raw until it has been processed. And when it has been processed, it's now called information. So information is data that has been processed. The facts has, have been scrutinized and it's correct. That's now the information. And now the computer itself, from raw data, we input the, 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 info, the, the data into a computer. And then uh, it is processed. After it has been processed, we will get the output. And the output is the processed information. Uh, also, application of, a, of a, a computer in life. For example, email. When we want to send email, email, data interchange, even when you want to transfer funds like money, you will find that uh, the computer comes in very handy, very important in the, in the processing of, of uh, in the processing, in the, in the sending of the money, we have to use the computer, or, or rather we have to use the electronic devices. Also in banking, for example, even it is also applicable in the banking, where we bank our money, a computer is also used there. Also in, even in management, people use computers to simulate information, to simulate right calculations by use of computers. Even in the research, we use computers. Even in entertainment, for example, CDs. Hmm? When you, 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 you record your music, you will be using a computer. And um, a computer has also advantages and disadvantages. Advantages of a computer, like any other device, it has advantages and disadvantages. Advantages of a computer is that it does its work very fast, speed of work. Work is done in a very fast manner. Also, you can also use the computer to communicate globally, each the internet. And also the programs in a computer are very accurate. A computer cannot make mistake. When it makes a mistake, what we call garbage in, garbage out, it means you enter the wrong information and it will give you that wrong information. But if you enter the right information, obviously you will get the right information. Also, computers actually make work easier. They read, because they are very faster. They can work faster than a human being can do. So they save, their, uh, they save their savings in cost when used. And also they have their own disadvantages. For example, where a computer is applied, if a computer is applied in an organization, like a company, maybe if a company employs maybe 100 people, but when you, you use a computer, 
we only need maybe three people. So you see the the other 93 people will be out of work. So that's where it affects maybe employment. Uh, also a computer, when it breaks down, it can cause very huge losses because all the information, for example in a company, are stored in a computer. So once it breaks down, it means everything will come to a standstill. No work will be done because the computer has broken down. Uh, also, computers can also be used to spread uh, party things to the community. For example, pornography can also be spread by means of computers. And this one may end up spoiling our young generation. Uh, also, computers have negative environment, especially when they break down. How to dispose those 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 those, 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 those <coughs> obsolete co computers? This is also a problem. They can affect our environment because of the radiation, eh? the radiation that they will be causing can easily affect us. Those who use that environment will definitely be affected. Also, computers may also be used uh, in cybercrime. For example, hacking information which is not yours. And then somebody uses that information for evil intentions. Computer can also do that. Uh, but what we know for computer is that uh, it, it has a speed, uh, it is faster, it is accurate, it has large storage capacity, it can store data, very huge data. But also, it has no IQ. What is used, what is input in a computer is from human reasoning. When a human being has an information that he wants actually to process by use of a computer, that will, that's what the computer will be, uh, process. In other words, see, a computer is money driven. Is money driven because all the devices work according to to man's plan. So, but it has no IQ of its own because it's not a living thing. And also, a computer has no feelings, although it is sensitive, but it has no feeling like a human being. For example, whenever you enter data, even if it is wrong, it cannot complain. It will process what is there and it will give you what is there. So, copy it in, copy it out. Okay. And also, we now come to CPU. In a computer, this is the motherboard, CPU. CPU holds the, the main memory, random, random access memory. It also holds what I, 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 I wanted you to find out. CU, the control unit. Eh? The control unit. I hope you, you have gotten it correctly. The control unit. Also, it holds the processor, and the processor is the central processing unit. And then arithmetic logic, logic unit, it can also calculate sums, it can, does, it can also, for example, manipulate hmm, figures 
as you want them to be. So that's the work of a computer of, of importance of a CPU. And uh, computers, like uh, any other device, are also classified. They have very many classifications that are classified by purpose. Because there may be a computer mainly to calculate uh, figures, uh, for example, Excel. Uh, others might be able to, 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 to control the weather. Eh? Uh, for example, the meteorological department, they also have their own computers. But the computers they have uh, are not actually made to, to calculate wages and salaries. They are just meant to, to, to do what? To, to explore the universe and see how the weather that day is, the warmth, the coldness, eh? that's the climate, you see. Um, also, uh, despite the fact that a computer also stores in, in information, but we also have information which can be stored outside the computer and later it can also be input into the computer. So we call that, we call such a, such information that is stored outside a secondary as backup. Those are secondary uh, storage devices like diskets. Eh? They can also store information and can also be used at a later date. Uh, also, uh, what do we do? We look at also what we can also look at the uh, at communication at communication devices. The fact that a computer is able to pass information to other computers. A computer uh, can pass information to other computers through, uh, for example, we have channels that a computer may also pass information. Uh, for example, it can be medium, 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 or, or a channel which communicate. Uh, it can be, for example, it can be what? Uh, for example, the mode in which it can pass information. For example, one can be simplex, communication from point A to B. It simply communicates from point A to B. That method is called the simplex method. It means using one direction only. For example, when a radio, a radio, when you listen to the radio, does the radio communicate with you? No. It only it simply airs information to you, but you cannot actually ask it to substantiate what it has said. So that's a simplex method. Also, when you watch TV. You can watch TV, but it cannot communicate to you, or you cannot ask it to clarify. Eh? So it's just a one way. Also, there is also another way, half duplex communication. Communication between point A and B at a time. For example, when you are talking to a telephone, you listen to the other one first, and then when you, 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 you reply, he also listens to you. But you cannot just talk. Eh? Eh, we have to, it, it, it is a it half duplex because you pass information, then another information is passed to you. That's half duplex. But also we have full duplex. 
where we can, like now I'm mobile, where we can talk to each other, we talk, I talk as he talks. That is now called a full duplex. Those are just ways or modes of communicating by use of a computer. By use of a computer. So, as I said, uh, this was just but an introduction, but when we delve into the main topic, we will explain all that. But as for now, what you should know is that a computer is a device that he may that he uses electricity, captures information, processes data to form what we call information, uh, and also he does work, it's work very speedily, that is what he, for now, we will, we will conclude by introducing the computer to this ICT class. But next time we meet, we will now delve into the computer, uh, into the many, 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 many work of the computer and other devices that are in the computer. Because we look at the hardware part, and also we look at another part called the software part. That will be the next topic that we will come to. So, until next time, have a nice day.